guys, it's Becca, and welcome to another video. Wow, good entrance, Becca. As you can tell by the title of this video, today is story time, and I have seen several of these going around YouTube, and everyone's like, story time, I was kidnapped. Like, story time, like, what? I don't get it. But my story time is 100% true. Like, I feel like a lot of people make up these story times to try to get the views. Mine's true, it actually happened. Um... And this is not just like clickbait, just starting off saying that. It's not like, wow, it's actually a true story. So let's just jump in. I'm kind of nervous to do one of these. I haven't done one of these ever. So this should be interesting. Okay. This was, so this all started when I was in sophomore year. I was a sophomore, when I was in sophomore year. When I was a sophomore in high school, so it was two years ago. And I was going to Greece, not Greece, I'm going to Greece this year. I was going to Italy with the chorus. So, so every other every other year, the chorus at my school goes on this big tour to some foreign country or European country. Last year, two years ago, we went to Italy. This year, we're going to Greece. So I was lucky enough to go as a sophomore. So yeah, we were in Italy. We were in the town of Florence. Is Florence a city? I feel like Florence is a city. We are in the city of Florence, and Florence is known for their Italian leather. So they have a lot of leather jackets, like leather boots, leather bags, basically everywhere you looked they were selling leather anything. And these leather jackets usually go for like 350 euro. And I was like, nah man, like I only brought 350 euro for like the whole week and a half I was there. And I was like, I'm not going to buy a 350 euro jacket, because I was like, I, I'm convinced I can get it down for cheaper. So. Me, my friend Ari, my friend Carly, and my friend Abby were all like, let's go look for a leather jacket. Like, we all wanted one. So I was like, yeah, yeah, like, that'll be fun. Let's do it. So I was convinced that I could, like, bargain it down, because in Europe, like, you can, like, bargain. So I, th so I thought. So I was convinced I, could, I would bargain it down to 50 euro, which is, like, unheard of. Like, that is literally $300, 300 euro cheaper than what the jacket should have been sold for. But I was convinced I could do it. So there was this market place and it looked like basically there was like market like people on either side and like a big street kind of like a farmers market if you know what those look like um where like different like vendors were on either side like selling their brand of leather jackets and you could kind of pick and choose like they had different styles and all this different stuff so me and my three friends were walking down there and i was like who will sell me like i was literally yelling it i was like who will sell me a jacket for 50 euro anyone anyone and no one was like, no one was listening because they were like, haha, good one. Like, this is a 400 euro jacket. You're not getting it for 50. So, anyway, I was a little discouraged. But then all of a sudden, like, out of nowhere, this man, who I probably should not have trusted, but I did, this man, like, ran up to me and my friends and was like, you want jackets? I have jacket. That was not an Italian accent, but, like, that's kind of what it sounded like. He was like, you want jacket 50? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, follow me. And I was like, okay. So me and my three friends were like, woo, shopping. So we went and we went into this like very thin triangular. It was not a triangle. Shoot. This, <laughs> this very thin rectangular room. And it was like literally six feet by like 12 feet. We were literally in a rectangle. And I was thinking like, this is weird. Um, it was in the middle of like, random I don't even know it was so strange and there was like jackets like covering the walls and I was thinking like oh yeah I'm gonna get a good deal so there was a little couch that all my friends could sit on so the three of them sat on this couch while the guy who had you know taken us away to this like room I'm pretty sure like this could could have been like a murder scene I'm not joking T God I didn't die and he was like throwing out jackets. He was like, this one looks cute. This one looks cute. Try on this one. How about this one? And I was like trying them out and I was like, ooh, like how does this one look? And my friends were like, yeah. They were like, no. And we were literally just like naive American tourists, like having fun. We were like, woo, shopping, whatever. So I put on this one jacket and I was like, oh yeah, like this is the one. Like for sure, I love it. And the guy was like, okay, 75 euro. And I was like, no, like I came here for 50 euro. And he was like, that jacket's worth like 350. And I was like, I'm aware, but I'm not paying you that. And he's like, let me talk to the boss. And I was like, okay. So he left us in this room and he went behind this curtain and like disappeared for like two minutes. And while during the two minutes, I was like talking to my friends. I was like, guys, like this is great. And I'm like, good for us. Um, and so he came back and he was like 75. And I was like, where did you just go? 
Like, I'm only giving you 50. And he like, literally, this, I probably should have realized that this is when like, it was weird, but he like, he was like, fine, 50, but like, under the table, like, I literally had to like, give it to him like, like, sneakily, I was like, oh, here, and then he was like, bye, and I was like, okay, so, we all, like, he gave me my jacket, and we all like, ran off, we're like, woo, so, we went to, after we finished like, by getting my jacket, we were like, guys, we should go see the David now, like, if you don't know what the David is, like, it's a big statue, um, so, we decided to go see the David, and it was great, and, you know, everything was good, and then after that, my friend, a different friend, not the three of us, my friend Alana, was like, yo, like, I want a jacket 50 euro, and I was like, man, like, I can hook you up with my dealer, like, come on. So, we went back to the market, and I was, look, I was, like, asking around, I was like, does anyone know who sold me this jacket? Like, I can't, I can't find the person who sold it to me, and, like, I could not remember where on earth that weird rectangular room was. And if I, because if I knew where it was, I would have gone to it, but I could not remember to save my life. So, I was like, okay, well, I'll just ask around. So I'm asking around, asking around, and someone, one of the one of the vendors was like, oh, let me see it. So I showed him my jacket, and he read, like, the, the tag, like, the label, and he was like, um, oh, like, that, you got that from Michelangelo. So I have the jacket right here, actually. Here's the jacket that I, uh, you know, you'll see. So, it says Michelangelo on it right here. And he said, oh, like, go to the Michelangelo store. And I was like, well, I didn't get this from the store, but like, okay. So, I'm walking, and the guy told me where it was. He's like, it's just down in a little bit, and you'll see it. So I'm walking, I'm walking. <sighs> I'm walking down, and I find the store, and I go in, and it's like this empty store. Um, and it just looked like, like any other store, really. It was like, you know, a store. Great explanation. Um, and I go to the guy who was behind the counter, who I'm assuming owned it, and I was like, hi, like, I bought this jacket on the street, I got it for 50 euro, like, I was wondering if you know where I can get another one, and he looked at my jacket, and he was like, you got this for 50? And I, well, that's not his accent, but I was like, I was like, yeah, like, 50 euro, like, good deal, right? And he was like, oh my god, and I was like, what? And then all of a sudden, like, I'm not kidding, it was dead silent, like, you could hear a pin drop, and I was like, why? And he, he goes, he goes, this is my jacket. And I'm like, well, technically it's my jacket, but like, okay. I wasn't going to argue. And he's like, these, this is my jacket. And I was like, okay. Like, I understand. It has like your name on it, your brand, whatever. And he was like, people have been breaking into my store and stealing them and selling them on the street for cheaper. And I was like... I'm sorry, what? Like, I was like, excuse me? I was like, whoa. Because, like, at this time, I was freaking the f*** out because I was like, there's no way. Like, I I literally have a stolen jacket. Like, this is an illegal jacket. You know what I mean? Like, I did not pay this to the right person. Anyways, so he was freaking out about this to me, and he was like, you shouldn't have gotten this for 50, and I was like, well, clearly, like, they're worth 400, and he was like, he was like, you need to go find the person who sold this to you. And I was like, oh God. I was like, if I find the person who sold this to me, I'm gonna have to like testify and witness. And I was like, the one thing that my choir director told me, like not just me, she wasn't like Becca. She told the group was that you cannot get into any legal trouble over there because when it's so hard to bail you out. Like, so of course I was like, yeah, that'll never happen to me. And then when he mentioned that like this was stolen and that I need to go find the guy, the thief and like report him I was like what I was like I am a 15 year old child like I cannot do this and so basically I was like okay like I'll go find him like I wasn't actually gonna go find him but I was like yeah like and at this point I'm standing in the store alone all my friends had left they all were like oh and like backed out and I was like guys like it was it was bad and so basically he was like go find it go find it and if you find the guy I'll give you another jacket for 50 euro. And I was like, I don't want one that bad. I was like, okay. So I, I like walk out of the store and I'm like, tell my friends what's going on. I'm like, guys, listen, like we need to go. And they're like, why? And I was like, just we need to go. So I was walking down, you know how I said it was like a market and there's a street in the middle. I was walking down that street and all of these vendors, I'm sorry. <sighs> just like really tired. All of these vendors were pointing going like, that's the girl, that's the girl with the stolen jacket because they all knew about this plan. And I was like, oh my God, this is not happening. So they were like, there she is, there she is. And I was like, shoot. 
So I like, so I put my sunglasses on and my hood up, and my, all my friends I was with like crowded around me, and I was like, shoot, shoot, and they were like, get him! I was like, oh my god, oh my god, this can't happen! And then we finally like get back to the end of the market where like all my um, school was standing, and I like, go up to my choir director, and I was like, oh my god, like you'll never believe it! And then um, it turns out that the store owner had been following me all the way down the market while I was getting yelled at by the other mer merchants, 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 by the other merchants, and he goes, and I turn around and he goes, you, and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> He's like, did you find the store owner? And I was like, well, you've been following me the whole time. Clearly I didn't find the store owner. And he's like, if you do, call me. I was like, well, I'm not from, I'm not from Italy and I most likely won't call you, but he gave me some weird number. And long story short, I got away with a jacket for 50 euro. And I don't understand how it happened. But it's such a cute jacket. Do you guys want to see it? Look at this. It's so cute. It's literally Italian leather. Just like, oh, I'll do like a little modeling for you. It was really nice and everyone couldn't believe it that I managed to get this because everyone else on my trip came back and they were like, I got the cutest jacket. I was like, same, like how much was yours? And they were like, 350, like such a steal. And I was like, hey. <laughs> Yeah, so that's my story time. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see or hear more story times, like the time I was electrocuted or the time I was, um, yeah, electrocuted in Ireland, a lot of bad things happened to me overseas. But give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see it or comment down below that you want to see it. It's a good one. And the reason I'm telling this story is because when I'm posting this, I will be in Greece um, with my choir. So here's hoping that I don't steal anything or get in legal trouble. So, crossing our fingers. I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. I hope you guys enjoyed the story time. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next Saturday. See ya!